Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show. It is Expresso right here on SABC3. Now, it is an unfortunate reality that many young South Africans have the desire to embark on careers that require specialized training but cannot afford to further their studies. Now, the Department of Government Communications and Information Systems has issued a program that deals directly with this issue. And Deputy Minister of the, of the, of the Department, Stella Ndabeni Abrams, is here to tell us more about it. Stella, so good to have you with us today. Same here, Leanne. Just, and sorry. Just good morning. It's good to see you. You look absolutely amazing. Now, we were talking in the break about all of the opportunities available to young people, but we will get into that a little bit later on. Your department has just embarked on a film and television production skills program. Do you want to tell us more about it and exactly why you decided to roll out a program like this? Definitely, Leanne. Every young person out there, they know that the department has been talking about digital migration which simply means that now the broadcasters will be moving from analog to digital. Yeah. Therefore, we had to find a niche for young people out there. If we're going to increase the channels, for currently, SABC has three channels, and now we're planning to increase the channels to 16. What will be the opportunities thereof? Every day as I'm seated here, looking nice like this, people don't know the struggles yeah. and the hassles that other Preach. people went through. Yes. The man behind the camera. Yeah. Then we said, if we're going to increase 13 channels, it tells you that we're going to need people who know, who must know how to operate cameras, mm -hmm. who must be able to operate sound, but at the same time, they must be able to edit, because everything that is produced must be edited. And then we identify that as a scarce skill in the industry, and therefore we said, yes, as the Department of Communications, we will work hand in hand with the MICT CETA to empower young people to be ready for digital migration. I love this. Do you know how many messages and questions I get on a daily basis about getting into the industry, what options and opportunities there is? So I'm so happy for this program. This is just one of many that's being rolled out. What else is there for 2017? Oh, darling, we're about communications and nothing yes. else. Yes. And if we're about communications, it means we've got to tap into every platform wow. that is in our space. Yeah. Digital communication is the thing. We can't be left out. And we've got to make sure that as we move forward, we lift our guests and our citizens with us. Yeah. We, are, we are offering certain courses. As we're going to go to 2017, we're giving skills to young people who are in need of them skills like graphic designs, or web development, so that they're able to help. You know, there's nothing frustrating like you going to a website and you find the information that is still staying six months back or three months back. Yeah. Information is about you moving with the time. It has to be updated all the time. Yes. And as government, we're talking of building an active citizenry. And the only way to do that is when people are empowered all the time. Therefore, we want people to assist these departments, people to assist even young entrepreneurs to say, how can you market your product? There's digital media. Everybody's on social media. How do we tap into that space yeah. so that we can make mola out of yes, that and absolutely. therefore that's creating opportunities and it. making a difference so we will be embarking on that but we also bringing back the same program that now we have young people are graduating on yeah. film and tv production love it. we are about telling stories to the world I love how relevant these programs are because it's what we need right now, you know, the kind of jobs of the future kind of situation. But I know that students are going to be graduating in the next few weeks. For anybody that's, wa that's watching right now and wants to know what they would need to apply, what are the requirements? Leah, others are graduating right now. Right now as Just we speak. Just here in Nyanga in Yay! Western Cape. I mean yes. like a township. We've got young girls and young boys Amazing. who are graduating today who have been beneficiaries of this program. Yeah. We had an intake of about 150 students. Unfortunately, yeah. there are those that are not too serious about their life. Okay. They decided to drop out. Mm. They are lost anyway. Yeah. But of course, as government, we're not happy because we lost money and that opportunity should have been given to another person. About 82%, and believe you me, Western Cape is the leading province in terms of their pass rate. So the best cameraman that you'll be looking for, just go to Nyanga. They're Hello. here next On year. our doorstep. On our doorsteps. Yes. And then the others, of course, with Gauteng, we're having them on the 30th, and then we're going to move to the Eastern Cape. But those that are interested in the space now, they've got to apply beginning of next year, beginning of 2017. We're gonna have it on our website, which is www.doc.gov.za. The other website, www.gcis.gov.za. And Yala, you can find us on social media. We are there on Twitter. The Twitter handle is at Stellarated. 
on or well on Instagram you can apply. Yes. Then Facebook we're available still under I mean, Abrams D O C as the department. We have GCIS also on on, on on Facebook. But most importantly, they will also listen to radio mm. and TV because we are people of communication. Absolutely. All the platforms, therefore, you just supply, send application, we'll advertise definitely, and then people must respond. And when you respond, make it a point that you are committed and dedicated. We don't want people who don't take their life serious definitely. because we are too serious. No dropouts, no, no dropouts. No dropouts Stella, anymore. Thank you so much for joining us. It's absolutely amazing and so wonderful to see what the government communication and information is doing, and uh, you're doing amazing things. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Leanne. Let's keep on communicating, Dennis. Yes, absolutely. We will keep on communicating. And another way we will be communicating with you this morning is through music. So let's go over to our next performance.